Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you for everyone who has liked and subscribed. And if you are new, then remember to hit that subscribe button. Now, today's topic, we're going to talk about twin flames. I have a lot of clients ask me, what's a twin flame? How do I know I'm with my twin flame? And what's the difference between a twin flame and a soulmate? So I thought I would try and answer some questions or bring some clarity to everybody out there and this is information that I have been given through spirit through my work um, through my clients and channeling um, information and messages for my clients particularly with love and relationships and connections that way so what is a twin flame a twin flame is someone that you will meet and you will instantly recognize yourself in them okay twin flames it is an unexplainable intensity you will be immediately hit by an energy that is like lightning or a zap of energy or a jolt or a bolt of energy unlike anything you have ever felt before now twin flames are very very rare there's a lot of talk out there about I've met my twin, I've met my twin flame and great if you have and, and there are a lot of twin flames out there but it is a very rare union and a very rare connection. Now your twin flame is a soulmate that you have had many, 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 many lifetimes. It could be hundreds. Some people do say hundreds of lifetimes together as soulmates. Okay, so you've done that many lifetimes and relationships together that you've become twins. And you, that's why you can recognize yourself in them and vice versa. This unexplainable intensity and attraction and energy between you is far beyond the normal attraction like a soulmate, like a, a, someone you really get along with or have a lot of compatibility with. It is on a deep spiritual soul connected journey. Okay, because these two people have done lifetimes together. So the intensity is there that is unexplainable, unexpected, and also this overwhelming sense of coming home or feeling at home with this person. And also your twin flame, this whole purpose for coming into your life is there to help you heal core wounds this lifetime once and for all. So if you've come together with your twin flame this lifetime, there is this calling for a healing once and for all on your core issues. They will generally be issues and wounds around your childhood, or past life, past life memories that you've brought through. And your twin flame's role is to bring you into full self-love so that you can become into a full or self-love union with yourself. That's why you hear that twin flames will come into your life and once you're in relationship, they will trigger you. Twin flames trigger you. Actually, they can trigger you before you've met, just as you've met them, or before you really know them, because you know them, and it's so intense, okay? But as a, a, a couple that's come together, a partnership that's come together, you, you are here to work and heal on each other, each other, and bring each other into that full self-love and full union and then you mirror that to each other, which is that divine twin flame energy that flows in synchronicity and alignment of full self-healing. So 
Number one thing, when you meet your twin flame, it's usually completely unexpected. It won't be when you're wanting a relationship, when you're looking for a relationship, when you, it could, could be done, you could be in a relationship. You could be, be done with relationships um, or just not interested, doing your own life, doing your own thing. But it will be unexpected and it's generally in an unusual way or an unusual, unexpected circumstance or moment in time, okay? Um, and there'll be no, it's unlike anything you've ever felt before, a sense of coming home and a level of synchronicity that's not the normal. So let's say you every day got up and went about your journey or your work schedule or your routine at a different times, different places. So let's say you walked every morning and you always picked a different location and you always went at a different time. And every time you go there, you meet this person or this person and you keep crossing paths. That's a sure sign that you've met a twin flame as long as you have the other aspects, an unexplainable intensity, an unexplainable immediate energy boost, zap, lightning bolt that you cannot explain, probably in your solar plexus, soul's recognition. And it's unlike anything before or you can't explain it. Okay, you will instantly see yourself in them or, or recognize yourself in all of their behaviors, beliefs, issues. Okay, they've come in to heal you and your wounds, so it's not an easy relationship. Twin flames trigger us. I feel for twin flames to come together and have a very deep, lasting union and togetherness. They, they have to be quite, have worked on themselves. Someone in the relationship has to have an understanding of how a twin flame relationship works. And if you were, uh, uh, you know, mature or mastered in that, um, or in that understanding of that, it probably and could work for very long term. For others of you, your twin flame and you may come together and you have the most amazing, beautiful relationship and then they're gone. But they will always come back. You will always be in union, even if it was a friendship or if they disappeared for three years and then unexpectedly, in an unusual way, they pop up again. There's a deep, such a deep intensity with a twin flame and a knowing, a trust and a faith and a knowing that no matter what, they will always be in your life or you will always be connected to them, okay? So it's a very different relationship to a soulmate relationship. So the other thing uh, with twin flame is universally and within yourself you feel it, within the partnership you feel it, the relationship with universe and the partner, you can't control any aspect of it. So the minute you think it should go like this or we should be together for this long or thought we would be doing this and it would work out this way, you'll find it won't. It's like something else, universal spirit guides, you and your twin, you're there on a journey together. Things will step in. So there can be a lot of breakups. But these breakups, are never they never last. These people always come back in or always come back around. When you meet your twin flame, there will be no doubt. You won't need to ask someone. You won't need to get validation and clarification on it. You will know. You will absolutely 100% know that this is not the easiest relationship to navigate through. So you do have to have a clear understanding. You are with your twin. I'll give you an example. Your weaknesses are generally probably going to be their weaknesses. So if you're a shy person who doesn't approach people, your twin will probably, once you do meet and once the union does happen, one of the twins has to break through that barrier. 
one of the twins will have to push through and go and approach that person. And the other twin will probably turn around and say, I'm so glad you did that because I was never going to approach you. So there's a few aspects here of twin flames. They are your twin. How you do things, they will do things. We hear of those stories about twins, that particularly identical twins, that have um, separated at birth and they've lived completely separate lives, never known each other, they come together later in life. They find, when they sit down and chat, they generally married in the same year. They generally had, both may have had three kids. They bought similar cars. They had similar jobs. Like there's always these synchronicities that go on. Sometimes they turn up to meet and they're both wearing red shirts, or pink shirts or blue shirts. You know, you are with a twin that you have an, a connection with that is on another level. It's not a normal level. It's not a soulmate level. It's a telepathic twin level. You'll probably have gone through the similar, not the same, similar things in your life. Had to heal and go through similar traumas or experiences. Um, your past growing up through, from childhood through to when you meet your twin flame your past will bring up a lot of um, would have had a lot of hints along the way so if you look back at your past you may have had to do certain things or learn certain things or live certain places or go and do certain things that you really did not want to do then you're like why did I have to do that and you meet your twin flame and you go oh wow that makes sense that's why I had to do that as a kid. That's why I was interested in that as a kid when I didn't want to. So this twin and you have been telepathically in communication and you've been sending each other these signals energetically from when you were a child. Um, all through your life, you may have had dreams and visions and seen this person's face. You may have heard their voice. You may have a, a feeling that you get when you've had that experience or vision or dream. And when you meet your twin flame, it all makes sense. Similar to a deja vu moment. But know this, you and your twin have been talking since, bef since you were born. Not everyone gets to meet their twin flame. It is a rare union. And it is a relationship where you know each other so well and have been telepathically communicating most of your life anyway, even before you met them, that when you met them, it is such an unexplainable intensity but a faith and a knowing and even if you met them and all of that connection and realization and recognition and acknowledgement was formed and they went off you have this deep knowing it's not a loss there's never this separation never a separation also these relationships I have found are not hurried or pushed or you can't control them not that we ever like to control relationships but you can't it, it's out of your hands when it comes when it goes um, when it's there when it's not um, so a lot of you have to be quite emotionally or spiritually aware or, uh, or worked on yourself or have an understanding of the dynamics of this relationship for it to work when you come together and as I said, if they did go, you there's a deep knowing that they'll be back. There's a deep faith and knowing that that connection will never be broken no matter what. So I do know of some people who have been in a twin flame relationship. They're both aware of it. They're, this connection with your twin flame is felt both ways. 
You and your twin flame will discuss this. Okay? It's not one-sided ever. So, yes, it, it can be a bit deniable or one twin goes off, and but they'll be back and vice versa. And it's a deep love union. Can I say this very loud and clear? We're talking about love here. Love does not bring pain and hurt and suffering and is not toxic. Although your twin flame could be triggering you, it's a growth, it's a healing, it's a safe, warm, um, supported, self-loving union between you and your twin flame if you're triggering each other to grow, expand, transform, transmute deep wounds. Okay, I'm not talking about toxic love. That's a completely different scenario. And this is where people tend to get it mixed up. They think that toxic, deep intensity, where it's pain and hurt, and that is not a twin flame energy. This is a deep connected spiritual nurturing triggering but nurturing and evolution of your wounds that you need to clear this lifetime that needs to be cleared this lifetime and your twin comes in and you know you're safe in that union with them to go on those healings and deep wounds and triggers and they help you through it or they're there at the time for that growth. So it's such a hard thing to explain to people because your twin's actually there to come in and help you heal your core wounds once and for all come into full self-love so that you're in full self-union with you, then you and your twin come together. And you're both doing that with each other. So it's a very connected relationship. Now let's look at a couple of things here. You cannot do work to create a twin flame. You either have one this lifetime or you do not. You cannot create a twin flame. A twin flame is someone we have been a soulmate with millions of times. Let's say, hypothetically, you have been soulmates over and over and over and over and over. You have completed those soulmate tasks, karmic tasks, karmic completion cycles of relationships, time after time after lifetime after lifetime. So when the twin comes through, you know each other. You just know. It's a, I just know. Okay. You can't work on yourself to create a twin flame. So all you can do is work on yourself and master yourself this lifetime and go on your journey. Your twin flame will either come into your life, they either exist this lifetime or they don't. So don't get too caught up in it. Here are some of the signs. They will come in unexpected times when you're not looking and it just happens. No matter, it's, you can't stop thinking about them. You, no matter what you do or how hard you try, they're always in your mind. Not in an obsessive way, they're just always there. They'll come in an unusual way um, and least expect it, unusual, me unusual meeting or time or place or situation, but the inner knowing is there instantly that they are really important in your life and are going to be, and there's no doubt in that. There's no question. You know on a very deep faith, inner knowing, intuitive, connected intensity. And because that's so intent, that knowing is so real and 
you have so much faith in it and it's just known, there is no hurry with this twin flame. Okay, you then have to learn to process the energy and the connection and so will your twin, okay? Um, so I don't believe... The, there won't be more than one twin flame ever. You have one, one twin, okay? So you won't be flip-flopping in your mind, oh, are they, are they not? Will they, will they not? They, no, there's none of that. Whether they're there or not there, or you have a long relationship or a short relationship, you will always be in union, you will always be connected. They will feel like family, they will feel like home. They will be there no matter what. Even if they're gone and you're not together and they're in a different relationship and you're in a different relationship after you've had a relationship together, there's a deep inner connectedness that will never be broken. Or friendship. Or business partnership. Okay? This is like being with your twin. Imagine how if you had an identical twin and that twin decided to leave and go and work somewhere else or live somewhere else. You know, it's not broken. You know you and that twin are always going to be connected. Okay? So there's that deep sense of coming home, overwhelming sense of coming home that you've never felt before. And I'm not talking about being comfortable. So if you're just saying, oh, I'm so comfortable with them. No. It's it's overwhelming coming home like you've landed finally with this person okay you've had multiple lives you know who they are even though you have not spent a lot of time with them you just know them and they know you and the feeling is mutual and the connection is mutual and there is an ease in that a faith the knowing in that um, you've had multiple lives uh, you recognize yourself in them and vice versa. They will trigger you and your wounds and core issues from childhood and past lives that will come up for you. You will have to, you'll generally find that you have to do work on that stuff when you're with your twin flame and vice versa. The energy between you that is seen is unexplainable by you and by others. Even if there's a cultural difference or an age difference or some kind of difference, people can see it. They can see the unexplainable energy connection and union and love and twinness between you. Nobody can put words on it. Nobody can explain it. It can sometimes look like a power couple. Or even if you weren't together and you were in a room, people thought you were married and together and had been together for 20 years. And you were, you were going, no, I'm not even with that person. But you know, you know, I'm talking about this as aspects that, let's say, it was your twin flame. Okay? And you know that and they know that. Other people in the room would see it, is what I'm saying. Undoubtedly. They can't put their finger on it, the connection, or you often see a lot of twin flames do have age gaps, big age gaps. Not always, but it, there's a lot of them out there. And people don't understand it, but they know it's right. And they accept it even if they don't want to accept it. it. It's unexplainable energy. And you cannot control how this relationship will go. So you need to know how to evolve and move through the times. And, the, and that's the wisdom and the mastery or the understanding of what a twin flame relationship actually is and how it works. The synchronicities will be beyond normal synchronicities and you'll have multiple synchronicities like visions feelings seeing their face emotional telepathy before you've even met um, and then you meet them your past as in your growing up your life as a child through to now will have 
um, confirmation when you meet your twin flame of why things happened, why you had to go and learn that or do certain things. Um, you can go years with no contact and depending on your journey with your twin flame and they will always come back or there's a deep inner knowing so there's never a loss, they're never gone. They will always be there no matter what with the connection, not just physically, with the connection. And you'll find yourself having those telepathic um, dreams or, or um, uh, conversations with them. Okay. And so I think we've covered a lot about twin flames. So twin flames coming together can take years before it kind of merges together properly. So please give it time, go on the journey. But there's that deep knowing so it doesn't need to be pushed. And I really love this card. It's not the twin flame card, but you know, it really signifies this union. When I look at this card, they meet in the minds, the hearts, the souls um, on every level. They're even giving each other exactly what each other needs or wants. And they've even tapped into giving each other the same gift, the same cup. And cups represent emotion, the same emotional experience or support. And they're reaching out to each other as well. And they've decided on this union. This union is set. It's spiritual. It's been before. They know each other on all of it. Look how balanced that is. They're looking into each other. They, they read each other perfectly. And, you know, these are the couple of cards that I've pulled. Here's the passion. Here's the connection. Here's the divine love this card doesn't it's the lovers card you've been lovers over and over and over but there is an intense connection here that's why i pulled that card to show you i pull these cards to show you the energy within a twin flame and then look at the union so i would say that these cards togetherness see they're always holding each other up they're both holding each other's arm up equally and that union, the four, the strong foundation, there's such a strong foundation with this union that if you'd met your twin flame and I was to pull cards on it, these would probably come out. They both want the same ending, destiny, future, journey and Together or not, they know they're on it together. I know that's hard to come to grips because sometimes it's just a knowing that they are always there energetically. But let's say physically is such a balance, such a union, such an intensity with emotion, such a foundation here that it cannot be broken. Whether you're with them, or didn't work out down the track because a lot of twin flames can leave they always come back and when they come back whether it's friendship or, or another level or you've met someone else for a while they'll still hang in there and wait to your single again they might go off and live their life and do their journey but they keep coming back or that friendship or that connectedness is always going to be there but generally, it is a romantic relationship that comes together. But there's just so many aspects, so much intensity, so much healing and triggers between a, with a twin flame that you would, do have to have an understanding of the energy. I just heard Spirit say, it's, what did they say? It's, it's a love that's, uh, 
so nearly unconditional, like undoubtedly love. You will never doubt it. And I think you want the best for them, no matter what. And there's a lot of unconditional energy between you, sort of, that's what I keep saying, the no matter whether you're with them or not. You do know along that journey, whether it's an easy one or a long road to be together, that they are the love of your life. And the signs will be there in the end so that you know it's your twin flame. So, hopefully this information has helped you a little bit to understand. Even as I tune into the energy, it's very heavy, it's very intense. It's very hard to even speak. But please, do not get this information. Have discernment and ask for discernment. If you're unclear, if you meet someone, is this my twin flame? Ask creator, I use creator, source, guides, whoever you use, you can use, but ask for, I ask creator for discernment and clarity if, if I was overwhelmed by this connection. And, but there is a deep knowing there. And I have to say this to everyone, real love, pure love, that's what I want to say. Twin flames, there's a pure love. It's not toxic. It doesn't hurt. They understand each other's journey. They understand each other's limitations. They understand each other's expectations or need to go and do this or come back and come, you know, go on the journey of life. They understand it on a level, different level. And there's an unconditional connection. Love, in that pure love for each other. Okay, and a very deep, deep, deep bond that is not normal. And the reason I'm saying pure love and connection and deep bond is Love can help us grow and transform and transmute and heal. And yes, we have emotions in that and experiences. But love is never toxic. Love is never painful. And love is never, ever lowering your vibration or bringing you pain or suffering or... I want to say um, blocking or controlling or manipulating your growth and your journey. That's more of a karmic lesson or a karmic negative soulmate experience. Okay, so the twin flame information is quite a... hard one to explain people because the intensity is not of a normal intensity okay it's unexplainable and you're not out of control with it okay but you know it it's a knowing it just is okay that's how i could explain it it just is no explanation needed this connection just is, and I don't know why it just is, it just is, and I'm going on, or I'm, I'm aware of it. I know. Okay? So that's what we will, the, and look at this. Here's to finish this reading. Your twin flame comes in to offer, to give that support, to give what they know, their knowledge, their wisdom, their support, through, so you can heal and come in full self-love and full self-union within that pure love for yourself. And they've come in to help, support, give, 
trigger, whatever, and they're trying to get you to the ultimate happiness within yourself, within love, within union yourself, therefore union with them. So if you complete and, and understand and master and go on the journey with your twin flame and it, it ends up being a long-term relationship, you know, it's like saying the Ten of Cups. Absolute contentment, pure love, pure union, pure connection with growth, with expansion. Okay, so it's a, it's a rare coming together and that's why it's such a divine, let's say, ordered uh, situation that you probably haven't even thought about or expected or, or tried to um, create because you cannot create. You cannot do work to create a twin flame. It, this is beyond you and beyond them. And that's the feeling. That's, that's what it is. Well, I hope this helped a little bit with Twin Flame. If it doesn't resonate with you or you're not understanding it, there are hundreds of readers and spiritual people out there that give different explanations um, about Twin Flames. Maybe check out some of them, but I just thought I would jump on today and try and bring through that energy um, information so that you could understand what to expect when you meet a twin flame, what will happen when you meet a twin flame, and how to discern when you're with that in that, within that energy connection or meeting. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.